Ah yes, another NASCAR bus video that's been a long time in the making. John West Townley is probably one of the most infamous drivers in NASCAR history. If you watched from the late 2000s to the mid 2010s, you saw this unfold on a weekly basis. John West Townley began racing Bandoleros in 2000, and by 2007, he was already racing late models. He picked up his first ever late model win that year, and it also coincided with his first ever DNF in NASCAR in the Bush East series. In 2008, he left the ASA Late Model Series for the greater pastures of NASCAR. This consisted a full-time season in ARCA as well as some truck and nationwide series runs. And so, the infamous career of John West Towling in NASCAR has officially begun. The 09 has come to stop right in the middle of the logo of the Toyota Tundra 200. The race will be run next here at this racetrack, but John West Townley climbing out of that car. Obviously a hard impact on the right side. 09 Zaxby's Ford goes behind the wall for John West Townley. That's a tough couple, day for that kid. A couple yeah. of crashes for him today. Yeah. yeah, it sure has been. He was in the Arca Remax Series race earlier today on speed and now takes that truck into the garage. Take a look at this. Kevin Wood sliding sideways back up into the wall. And then the 09 came along and ran into the back of Terry Cook. He had that chance, but you know, Phil, I don't like it. Right now, they've only run 10 or 15 green flag laps more on his tires than those other trucks have. So uh, he's not going to have as big of an advantage as he's going to need because look at all the track position he's getting ready to leave. 07 involved as well. So I got the 09 got into the side of the 07. Let's take a ride along with John West Tunnel in this Saxby's Ford. See the 07 gets sideways up off the corner. Absolutely. Yeah, no worries. Just tried to avoid that 07. The 07 gets away with it. <laughs> That's another stack up, just like we saw earlier. Yeah. Started all the way up front. There's Tony Range. You saw the 09 of John West Townley a moment ago. Yeah, he never did below 55. He, came, he accelerated from there yeah. on up. Yeah, not a thing he's doing wrong. It's just these guys getting a little bit anxious back there. John West Townley also involved. I'll tell you, that may, that's a huge break for Kyle Busch now. David Starr then on the outside of the 15. I don't think Kenny knew that John West was there. Moved up the racetrack a little bit, squeezed John West into the outside wall. That's a shame. Both those guys were having good runs. John West in a backup truck. He wrecked qualifying. And Kenny Wallace had to start in the back. So both these guys had overcome a lot of adversity. Were racing up near the top ten. And now their trucks are all crumbled up. Yeah, John West Townley. He's got the left side torn all two pieces here. Caution for the fourth time of day. Do not try to grab it. Do not try to grab it. It's done. After only eight top tens scored in ARCA and multiple DNFs, it was probably wise to just take a step back and maybe go back to the ASA series, but of course not. For 2009, John West Townley decided to go full time in the Nationwide Series. If you couldn't tell from the sponsor and all, John West Townley's father co founded Zaxby's. Get used to it because no matter how bad he performs, as long as he's able to fit the bill, he's going to get a shot. Scramble the cars and turn four, the 0 9. John West Townley has had contact with the concrete, does not get hit by other cars, fortunately, as they went above and below him. But we have caution now for the fourth time. Brad might need to get a halftime bet on this over-under <laughs> deal. He might have to go for the second half of the race. Yeah, he's going to lose that one, I'm afraid. He's got a good look at this 0-9. He just gets a little bit loose. Goes around. Been behind you. Been behind you. I don't think Bliss got into there. Got a car in the wall just in front of these guys. Got one up in the wall. Four there. Stay low. Caution, caution is out. out. Stay low. Caution is out. Stay low. Low. All clear. John West Townley, the rookie. Uh, in the wall, bringing out caution for the fourth time. Love this uh, this nationwide series. You know that's why we love as as race car drivers to compete. Oh, in. trouble front straightaway. John West Townley gets turned around, and who else is going to get collected? Caution flag out. Yellow number six on the night, and a tough break for the rookie from Georgia, who's got a used up race car. Didn't seem like he knew he was up there. Uh, no fun at all. So uh, yellow out here with uh, with 45 laps to go. And it's all coming off a of turn two. Wow. Oh. John West Townley just goes straight into the 23. Don't yes. know if maybe he had a problem with the, with his car before that. Man, I don't know. Man, that was a hard lick. And Bolo took a hard lick on that inside. Thank goodness they have the safer barrier down there now. Give 
him room inside here. Give him room inside off. Yeah, you've given him plenty of room. Yeah. Unbelievable. That had nothing to do with us, Fart. And John West Holly did not need this. He just needed a good finish. We talked about it earlier. Come, come to the pit. Come across the grass. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. See here. No, it looks like Actually, he just got McDowell loose. just got loose in front of John West Townley. And Townley was just a victim. Wrong place, wrong time. It was not John West Townley's fault this time. He just got taken out accidentally. Has Whoa, hang, hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Speaking of backups. John uh, West Townley. Uh, I don't think this will be a backup, Steve. Well, yeah, they're, they're not going to be in the show. Yep. Because that was his first lap there. And this team was coming off of a great run last week at Watkins Glen where Boris said qualified ninth and finished 11th. But they will not race in this 250-mile event later on today. Looks like oil on the racetrack. He dropped some oil. Something oh, happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Something happened. He blew a, blew a line or blew a motor. And everybody else was just kind of along for the ride. Eddie McDonald, there he is from Lee, New Hampshire, won the Oxford 250, just digging along. Great family team, run second in the Camper World East race. You can't do nothing once you hit oil. In his first full-time Nationwide Series season, he made 26 of the 35 races, notching zeros across the board and only leading a single lap. This also consisted a grand total of 10 DNFs and a 23rd place points finish. So now it's time to move on up to an even better ride with Richard Childress Racing in 2010. <laughs> God. The only highlight from that season consisted of leading a total of 10 laps during green flag pit stops at Las Vegas. The reason I know this by heart is because I was in the stands and was shocked the entire time. When leading laps during green flag pit stops and an even better ride than the year before is your sole highlight, you know you had a bad season. Yeah, you can see he's right coming there. out of turn two. Yeah, he just all by himself just spun off of turn two. Really no big deal right there. He had his car gathered up, but then you see Stenhouse can't see through the smoke and is actually side by side with another car. Now when he breaks out of the smoke, this is what he sees. And yeah, that's right. A yeah. little bit of inexperience there. And it uh, looks like 21's day We're might turn be around, over. Go. Oh, bud. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that baby's going to move. Oops. Oh, man. He got plowed by the 35 of Jason Keller. Makes you wonder what what happened before this. We had mentioned Townley had a career best finish back at Las Vegas at 15th. See More cars see the 61 involved. and the 34 yeah. happened behind this as they tried yeah. to slow down. Guys, I don't mind saying this. This is one of those times I almost wish the driver would have gotten off and uh, gotten out and let him take the car back on a rollback. That car is severely damaged right there. Looks like he got loose right in the middle of three and four, coming yep. off turn four and got away from him. This has been a rough track for John West Townley. Jeff, I remember, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, remember he wrecked a nationwide car and a Camping World truck in a almost the exact same spot in turn four. After this practice wreck, Clint Boyer had filled in as a replacement role for the rest of the weekend. Soon after, Townley was relieved of his duties at Richard Childress Racing. He finished the later portion of the season with Rab Racing, but sat out for all of 2011. In 2012, he reevaluated his situation and moved down to the truck series full time. There wasn't much improvement there with only two top tens total, and in his few Xfinity starts, he was not impressive either. Oh yeah, and also, if you didn't know this, get ready. Townley actually attempted to make a Cup Series race in 2012 at Pocono. He didn't make the field, but to make up for it, he actually scored his first ever ARCA Series win at Daytona. But that was the sole highlight from 2013, as his full-time stint in the Truck Series consisted of, well, a lot of this. And happened to hit him again, and finally spun him all the way around. Watch as Crafton gets into the corner, hits him a couple times, and instead of letting him go, he just keeps hitting him. But then Townley messes up here by hitting the gas. Yeah, he made pretty significant contact with the outside wall. And that got Joey out of the throttle. And that chain reaction got all the way back to the seven of John West Townley. It might be fair to say that wreck started off turn two. Wow. Close call there for Agnew. He was able to slide by just in front of John West Townley. Travis dropping the window net and unhooking the safety equipment. Good to see John West Townley also.
You can oh. see right there, it's got loose coming off turn two. Boy, Boy did he hit that wall. You can see there is a safer barrier there. I believe, isn't it? Yeah. See at the end right here what this gets clipped. See, Brad drives to the... Who, he's loose before Brad ever even gets to him. No, it didn't have anything to do with Brad, but watch this. Yeah. That's what you do. You never give up driving. You never give it up, and, and he never locked it down. He never gave up. He pulled that thing out. I can't wait to watch this kid at Eldora. If he, he can do he this on the asphalt. For Eldora, <laughs> well, watch right this there. here. Yeah. As you can see, it's like, is he coming look, away? Look how far that left front tire was turned. It looked like it was turned about 20 degrees. And uh, it could do a lot of damage to that truck if it blows out. You see, it just gets hung out. He's running all by himself. He does a great job keeping it out of the outside wall. Stayed in the throttle until he got into the grass. All the other competitors doing an outstanding job to avoid him. The seven of John West Townley. Townley around. He spun around last week and come back to finish seventh, and that was running 190 miles an hour. Not so fortunate this week. Yeah, a lot of damage to that seven. The left side of that truck. Red Horse Racing was a pretty good team in the truck series at the time, but unfortunately Townley was only able to get a little bit out of them. Only 7 top 10s and an 11th place points finish, giving us the good old 7-Eleven. But seriously, putting up numbers in equipment such as his is horrible, and 2014 was no different. In fact, it seemed like he regressed even more, which I didn't even think was possible at the time. At this point, Townley's father pretty much decided to start a team and fund John West along the way. Even though his lows consisted of multiple DNFs and pretty much being a nuisance on the track, his highs were astounding for his standards. The 2014 Truck Series season saw a career high of two top fives and four top tens. It also consisted of his first ever unofficial NASCAR win at Eldora. So eight years into it and John West Townley finally is showing slight signs of improvement. Maybe, just maybe, the 2015 season could be the best of John West Townley's career. What happened? Kennedy was slow up top, but that didn't really seem to have anything to do with the, no, it the all beginning of that crash. Right at the bottom, right around where James Busher was. Yeah, it's like an accordion effect. Once it looked like somebody get somebody slowed, and then they started running in each other. On the outside, Jesse Little looked like Toddy may have may have pushed up a little bit, had to chase his truck up the hill just a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So I think you know. He, he saw Mason slide up in the middle of the corner. And he wanted to take advantage of it. See if we can see what happens. He's on the brakes there. I think he, he locked the brakes up, and that gave the 25 of Wong a chance to jump inside of him, and that contact ripped the headers, the tailpipes, excuse me, completely off that truck. And now Townley half a lap away from his first win, and there goes Peters by. Townley down the back stretch. Here comes Peters at full song. Peters and Ben Kennedy there was John West Townley. He's over in turn number four. Here he comes. I think Can he they get coast. him? Can they get him at the line? John West Townley, career win number one. Yes. How about Michael Shelton, their championship winning crew chief with James Busher. He takes John West Tolley to victory lane. I cannot put into words how crazy this was to find out. I was not able to watch the race unfortunately, but man, I wish I did. And at my home track of all places, say what you will about John West Townley, he has more NASCAR wins than me and probably you. 2015 was the best season of his career. One win, three top fives, nine top tens, and an eighth place points finish. But it was short lived. 2016 saw massive regression. Despite scoring an impressive two poles, he also only scored two top tens. But despite what I've shown you thus far, John West Townley's signature moment in NASCAR has yet to come. If you thought him crashing was just going to be his sole legacy in NASCAR, well, think again. It actually took place after one of his crashes at Gateway in 2016, giving us one of the worst sports fights in history. But also, it's one of the funniest of all time. John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher together. Remember, these guys got together before when John West got turned around into the outside wall. We've been told that Matt Crafton has been released from the infield care center, declined the opportunity to speak with our reporters. John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher 
exchanging words and oh they're going at it this is going to be good here hope the trucks aren't coming John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher down there in turn one <laughs> and there's points for a takedown and the fans are loving it Townley and Gallagher John West Townley landed a couple of good blows there. And I'm not yeah. sure if the fight was over or they just got too tired to continue. <laughs> After another season that consisted of more DNFs than top 10s and having his fight go viral, John West Townley decided to officially retire. A career that began at the age of 18 was over by the age of 26. In all of his starts in Xfinity, Trucks, and ARCA combined, he accumulated a total of 47 DNFs. But to leave on a positive note, at least in his farewell season, he notched his second and final career ARCA Series victory at Daytona. Townley was actually taking some college courses right after retirement, so props to him for bettering himself. But in the case of his NASCAR career, overall, Oh my goodness. But to be honest, if any of us had endless supplies of money to spend, we would probably notch out a career in racing as well. You can't knock on someone for trying to live out their dreams, but what we can critique is the performances on the track. And in the case of John West Townley, he was definitely one of the biggest NASCAR busts in history. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.